Hi everybody, it's Siri from Hatch Duo. And in today's video, I think it might be fun to show you guys how here at Hatch, we combine multiple AI tools to make our work as a designer easier. So the tools I'm going to be showing you guys today is a tool of our own called Mood AI. Mood AI is an AI tool that we at Hatch Duo actually created to help us generate mood boards in a more efficient manner. If you've been following our content, you will know that we're no strangers to AI. We've always been open to experimenting with new technology and with the case of Mood, we look at our own process and identify an area that could be a lot faster. And thus Mood AI was born. It's an AI tool that helps you create mood board quickly through curated content. And like any other AI tools, the more people use them, the more effective it becomes. If you're interested, check out the link below and sign up and join the fun. We also have a few videos on mood posted on our channel as well. And the other AI tool we'll be using today is the hyper popular Mid Journey, which is a generative AI tool that creates visuals from text prompts and or image references as shown today. So this is a workspace of Mood, which is, like I said, a mood board building tool. And for this particular mood board, I follow the 2024 CMF trends. One of them is called sensorial wellness. You know, use these stone-like texture to capture that rounded, earthy kind of healthiness, which I think is, is quite beautiful. But I auto-generate this after I select out a few key images. We have multiple videos on our channel that shows you kind of in more detail how to utilize this particular tool. But the fun thing about Mood AI is you're able to click on this three button in the top corner. You It's you're gonna show you a drop-down menu. You can show origin and this link to the image source. So what you can do here is actually copy. For example, I quite like the texture of this volcanic stone and perhaps I already played around with it before, but let's give Mid Journey a from, let's say, what product would I like to design? A stool, let's do a stool. A hyper realistic stool, um, stone-like texture in earth tone living room then you just add this reference um, command and then you paste the link you grab from mood ai and enter and we just let mid journey do its magic so of course when you have a reference image i did notice that it takes just a little bit more time for an image to generate but it's working really hard to capture that reference file and following the prompt and sometimes you get quite wonderful results. Let's see what we come up with. There we go. So you see how from the original image in Mood AI, which is this quite textured uh, volcanic stone, it is reflected in all of these visual on top of its interpretation of an earth throne living room. And even more wonderful in this reference feature with Mid Journey, you can actually add multiple images as your reference point. So let's come up with a second product. Let's say a fan, a tower fan, a hyper realistic design of a tower fan, stone like texture in a warm earth tone living room. And of course, we add the reference command. I want to reference this, so I'm going to go back to Mood, show origin, copy that address. I will paste that down. Let's see, I would like to also reference this visual. I would grab it, show origin, copy that link address, paste that in, and then let's do one more, last but not least. Oh, maybe this image with the glass in it would be an interesting prompt. Let's see how Mid Journey deal with this. All right, and there you have it. These are all quite different and quite interesting. I'm actually quite in love with this particular shape, even though it added a little weird literal fan shape right there. But yeah, you, this is a very quick and easy way, and more importantly, a very controlled way to generate concepts quickly based on the mood board that we typically build as designers. So this is a, a very typical design process, right? We would do the exact same thing if we were to build our own mood boards. 
and then start sketching and then do 3D CAD and render. It's like the exact same process, but enhanced and speed up and made more, much more powerful with the help of very, very simple AI tool. And I'm able to create all of these concepts within literal minutes. So this could help any creatives get a head start in pretty much anything, any type of task where we need to visualize. So hope this has been fun. Hope that offers some additional insights of how we as a design studio utilize AI in our creative process. And if you haven't, please give this video a like, follow us, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's hatch awesome. Yeah.